Holy Spirit's here today. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For the darkness that has arisen in this nation shall get darker. For there are still those that are arrogant and proud and have still not humbled themselves before me, saith the Lord. But, oh, it will happen. It will happen. For the awakening cannot come until this happens. For that which is going on in this nation, the United States of America, and even across the entire globe is that which has never happened before. And I am shaking everything that can be shaken. I am shaking the economies of the world. I am shaking the idols in this nation. Even those that have been worshipped in the professional sports arenas, I am shaking everything loose, saith the Lord. I'm shaking Hollywood. I am shaking Washington, D.C. And you have not seen anything yet in Washington until I get finished, saith God. There are those that say, well, I cannot take this. Well, it's going to get worse and worse, and worse, and worse. Oh, but then there shall arise. There shall arise a song in the midst of the darkness. For I am preparing my true bride. I am shaking the church. I am shaking the church of its idols. Those that have stood behind pulpits and allowed thousands and millions of humans to worship them. For I say to thee, saith God, I am pulling it down. I am pulling it down. I am stopping the entourages that follow these human beings. For they are not God, I am God. I am Yahweh Elohim. And I am releasing the fear of the Lord in the land. I am releasing the fear of the Lord from the north of this United States to the south. I am releasing the fear of the Lord from the east unto the west. And when I get finished, saith God, then the awakening shall come. And it is not many days ahead, saith God, but though you will witness this day, that the darkness will get darker first. Those that have money will help them not with what is going on, saith God. For when people do not humble themselves, then I humble them. Just as I humbled King Nebuchadnezzar. There was not a greater man on the earth in his reign, and yet he portrayed himself as God. And I warned him. I even gave him one year from the warning of what would happen, but he did not turn. And at the end of that year, I spoke out of heaven, and he fled the throne. 
and lived like an animal for seven years and lost his mind. For you will witness people losing their mind in high places. Even those that would try to vote against what I want to do this year, I will cause them to babble like a confused person. And the communication will stop and I will swiftly remove those that are standing in the way. And I will replace them, saith the Lord. Amen. Wow. It will happen. Yes, it will. Lift your hands and give him praise. Amen. Lord, we give you praise. Well, you may say, then what am I to do? You better know the God I know. Amen. Amen. Because he will not forsake you. Amen. And for the true bride of Christ, those that are here, those that are listening, in whatever country you're listening in, in whatever state of the United States you're listening in, God will take care of his own. Yes, yes. Amen. Say, God will take care of me. God will take care of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Yes. All right. Everybody say, seek. 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 Part seven. Part, Part seven. seven. Yes, Carter. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Carter. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. I mean, is, is he three? He's three years old. He came up to the altar last Sunday and God shook him. I have never seen, Cindy and I have never seen God shake somebody like he did. It, it's okay. <laughs> the power of God came on you last Sunday. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, Amen. 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 Yeah. Can I have a hug? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I, I really did this. Yeah. 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 Do it. Would would do what you were. It, it, it's hard. It, yeah. yeah. It would. The Holy yeah. Spirit was shaking him. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. <laughs> Come, br bring him up here. Br just, just bring him up here. There's a word of the Lord for him. Amen. Just bring him up here. You, you come on, come on down. Now, the Holy Spirit. Is, this is going to be a prophecy concerning you. All right, so I want you to listen up. For I will use you at an early age. I will put words in your mouth. I will put words in your belly, in your spirit. And... Even as I said in Scripture that a child shall lead them. Amen. For you will lead adults, for they will be astounded because they will see the hand of God on you. Amen. Amen. I will shield you from the world and the evils of the world. Amen. You will not go astray. For time is short. And you are one of those that will help usher in this awakening and my return, saith the Lord. Amen. Now let's just give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. See, see it. If your if your if your head's too big, your brain is 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 too big. Yeah. Those are the people that have trouble. Uh, believing that God exists. That's right. 
They're dead heads. Yes. <laughs> Big dead heads. Yes. Big dead heads go to hell. Mm. Yes. Big dead heads go to hell when they die. Because notice, notice when Jesus was ministering. You see, I don't I have no idea what what we're doing here today. I'm prepared. I've got I got my Dunamis Bible. I've got every passage in the New Testament that Dunamis is in this Bible. I brought my Dunamis, I've got my amplified New King James parallel. I got I got that larger print down there. I've got a message. I've got detailed outlines. I've got scriptures. But none of that matters. The only thing that matters is that Daryl McManus hears what the Holy Spirit is saying to do and does it. That's right. Amen. Now here is another word of the Lord. This is unusual. For consider, saith the Lord in my word, consider when the children wanted to come to me and how my disciples tried to stop them. How I rebuked them. And how I said, suffer the little children to come to me. And how I laid hands on each of them and blessed them. And consider how my sermons when I preached and said, except you become a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Because a little child simply believes and trust me. Yes, that's right. For adults have been taught not to believe me. They have been taught in demonic, demon-filled universities that I do not exist. But notice how I have shut down school and universities. Oh. God says don't get in the way. For I am moving sovereignly in this, in this hour. Don't get in my way. Don't get in my way. For I will move through you. Over you. Says the Lord. Wow. All right, let's try this again. Everybody say seek. Part seven. Part seven. Turn to First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verses thirty-three and thirty-four. 1 Corinthians. I'm sorry, chapter fifteen. Everybody say chapter fifteen. Fifteen. Chapter 15. Verses thirty-three and thirty-four. God's word says, do not be deceived. When this is over and God says, okay, now awakening erupt. The whole church world will be different in the United States of America. Everything will be changed. Everything. There will be many ministry collapses, says the Lord. There will be ministries that will go bankrupt because they cannot pay the mortgage. Because I didn't tell them to do that. Because I pay my bills, saith the Lord. For when man says, I will build my kingdom, and I will make my name known, and I will exalt. Oh, consider Lucifer, 
how he said. Give me that passage. I will exalt my throne. We got human concordances here. It's Isaiah, Isaiah or Ezekiel. 14, 13. Isaiah 14, 13. Okay, let's turn to Isaiah chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 13. 13. Now, and, and let me just, and I'm reading out of the New King James, I'm going to start with 12. How you are fallen from heaven. There are many that will fall. You will witness them falling this year. You say, why? Because the, the devil's leading. And, and, and how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut to the ground, you who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. For I am tired of self-exaltation in this nation. Yes. Consider what I did. And if I had a wash basin right now, I'd just wash two or three people's feet that would let me. Consider when my apostles began to bicker amongst each other on who would be the greatest and how I had to interrupt the strife and how I told them that he who is the greatest among you will be the servant of all. For a minister of the gospel is not to be served, but he is here to serve. Yes. He is not here to be waited on as if he was some dignitary. Yes. For I'm changing. I am changing the scope. I am changing it even this day. For there are things that are happening in these 50 states, even as my servant is prophesying now. I am changing it. I am pulling down. I am pulling down. I am pulling down from the east. I am pulling down to the west. I am pulling down to the north. I am pulling down from the south. For they have built a kingdom that is not mine. And they have allowed wealth, the love of money, to deceive them. Or consider my scripture that says the love of money is the root of all evil. Ananias and Sapphire dropped dead in my church over money. Okay, Lord. I, as I'm standing here, this is different than anything. I, I have, like I said, I just, I, the scene is changing as I'm just, when I pause for a moment, uh, it's like the whole scene is changing in front of me. And I, and I have to get a handle on it in this body. Sometimes it's hard to get a handle on what I'm seeing. I see, I'm seeing the whole church scene just change right now. Right now. What are we are? The 10th Mother's Day 2020. 
Yes, 2020 vision. Yeah. Uh, it's changed. All right, let's let's finish reading this. For you have said in your heart, I, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the further sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And God says you shall be brought down to Sheol or to hell to the lowest depths of the pit. All right. I think we, I, I, I think this is what we're going to do. We're in first, you didn't forget about first Corinthians chapter 15, did you? 30, verses 33 and 34. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. You better watch who you're hanging around. Amen. You better watch who you date. That's right. If you, if you date anybody that you would you wouldn't marry, you're in trouble. Because once your soul tie gets formed, you've got a major problem. Wait on the one the Lord has. Amen. Wait on the mate that God has. God is, look at verse 34, awake to righteousness. That's action. Babe, do we have the JPEG? That's okay, Facebook. I'll be back. <laughs> YouTube or whatever. Wherever we're at. You're at. As soon as we get that image up, awake to righteousness. Do you remember? Let me refresh your memory. You remember we're talking about seek. Jesus is preaching, says, seek. Everybody say, seek, seek. First, first the kingdom of God, kingdom of God. And, his and his righteousness. And all these things. And all these things. You mean cars, houses, Clothes, food, all that. Yeah, that's things. Yeah. yeah. There's food shortages already happening in this nation. Yes, There's fast food restaurants already that can't serve you a hamburger. That's right. They've had to change their menu. That's right. I'm telling you, it's fixing to get way worse than that. Yes. So what... What will you do if you can't buy meat? Do you know the God that I know? The God that I know brought the food in from ravens. That's right. And fed Elijah. That's right. Are you listening to me? There's, com there's people that will commit suicide when this gets worse. That's right. Because they don't know Jesus. That's right. They don't know. They don't know. Say this. I've never seen, I've never never seen, seen the righteous. The righteous. See, that's a mouthful, that righteous. Yes. What does that mean? I've never say it again. I've never seen the the righteous. Begging, begging for bread. For bread. Oh, there it is. Never. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. I've never 
seeing the righteous forsaken. Everybody say forsaken. Forsaken. Or his seed. Or his seed. Begging. For bread. Amen. 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 Glory to God. If you if you know Jesus, and I, I, I'm, and and you are a tither and a giver. Yes. Amen. What do you mean a tither and a giver? Yes. There's people that have asked me. I had somebody in the congregation. Uh, it seemed like it was about a year ago. I need a job. They asked publicly. And so publicly, I said, want me to pray for a good job? And I said, uh, uh, are you going to tithe? Right. The person said, yes. God gave the job, and that person's been tithing. Amen. Amen. Why? Because, you see, if you're not a tither, then God, God's not obligated to do anything for you financially. We're seeing millions and millions filing for unemployment, unemployment. It's already at the rate. It's the greatest now you got since the Great Depression. Not the recession. The Great Depression. Yes. But everybody say they that know their God. They that know their God. Shall do exploits. Shall do exploits. Yes. Amen. 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 If you're a tither and a giver and you're walking righteously, yes. in other words, you're walking uprightly before the Lord, you're living a holy life, mm -hmm. God will, you'll never miss a meal. That's right. That's right. You'll never go without. Amen. 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 Say, I'll never miss a meal. I'll never, never miss, miss a, a meal. meal. My children will never go without. My children They'll will never go miss a meal. Never. And I'll never lack anything yeah, I'll that I never need. Lack anything that I need. Can we just give him praise? Yes. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Let's, we just give you, praise. Thank we thank give you praise. We give you praise. Amen. So, seek ye first the kingdom of righteousness. Notice it says, I've been young and now I'm old, yet I've not seen the righteous for a second. Righteous means it's it's twofold. The gift of righteousness, which was our, our our diagram, is a newborn spirit. You've got to ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life. How do you do that? You just say, I'm sorry, I'm a sinner. I repent. I turn away from a life of sin. And I make you Jesus, the Lord of my life. That's the, I, I made that decision when I was eight years old. That's the greatest decision I've ever made. And I'm over. I'm. I'm I'll turn sixty-two August of this year. Yes. Amen. And I've been preaching this gospel something like over forty-four years, most all of my life. And we have lived this gospel, and it works. Amen. I said it works. Amen. And if you're tired and a giver, one of the things God says He will do is He will rebuke. Everybody say God will rebuke, God will rebuke. the devourer devour. for, for my sake, and He'll open the windows of heaven. Yes, He'll open the windows of heaven. You mean I can be a Christian and living under a closed heaven? Absolutely, and most are. Yes, and that's why they say, "Well, I, got, I don't think God's ever heard me." Well. He wants to open the windows of heaven over you and your family. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's 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 begging. Yes. What do you mean? God won't just come down. No. See, God, God and his word are one. Yes. yes in yes. this word, God, this word is full of covenants. Mm -hmm. A covenant is, okay, you do this and I'll do that. You bring the tenth into the storehouse. A storehouse is is a, in most of the places where you know God's already said He's changing right now today. He's changing the whole the whole shape in this entire nation of what the church was. Right. And when this is all over, 
it won't even be recognized. Yes. It won't even be recognized. Yes. But his bride will come forth. Amen. Uh, Amen. Say that's me. That's me. Say that's me. That's me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Those those that have been hidden out, those that have been living right, those that have been walking righteously, that's the time God's going to yes. exalt. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 So, you do what God says to do, and God says, I'll rebuke the devourer for your sake. I'll open the windows of heaven. And I'll pour you out a blessing. You don't have room enough to receive it. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. See, Cindy and I are tithers and givers. And we don't depend on the offerings, the tithes that come in here, or the offerings. That's God's our source. Amen. We got just people all over. Different states, different cities. God will just speak to somebody. Send Daryl and Cindy money. Well, what do you what do you do? I, I, I pray and travail. That's what I do. That's, that's my primary thing that I do when I get up. For hours every day. Because that's what God wants me to do. Because I've got to hear. I, and I don't have time to hear uh, 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 other ministers most of the time. I don't have time to hear it. Because then I have to find out if this person has even heard from the God that I hang out with. And I ain't got time for all that because I got to keep hanging out with him so I can keep hearing what he's saying. And then I got to hear what he's saying just like I'm standing up here right now. He's telling me things in sentences and I'm telling you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Yeah. Yes, he's speaking it in, in me and so that I can tell you in English. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So say, I want to live under an open heaven. I want God to pour me out a blessing that I don't have room enough to receive it. I don't have room enough to receive it. Glory to God. And it's not dependent on your employer. That's right. That is right. I'm telling you, it has nothing to do with that. No, it doesn't. It has everything to do with if you do what he said concerning finance. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. Verse 34 says, Awake to righteousness and do not sin. There's two types of righteousness. There's the gift of righteousness, which is your newborn spirit. Amen. The moment you make Jesus the Lord of your life, your spirit, man, the, God takes that old man out and the father of God, who's, one of his names is the Father of Spirits. He breathes a new spirit inside of you. That happens when you're born again. You're a brand new man or woman. Amen. Say, I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. Say, old things have passed away. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. All things have become new. Amen. Now, that's, that's the gift. But inside the gift of righteousness are nine seeds. These are the fruit of righteousness. Love. Everybody say love. Love. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. You know, there are people when they enter, you know, a family get together or whatever, you just dread a certain person coming. You know why? Because all the peace disappears. That's right. Uh -huh. yes. We're supposed to do you know the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers? Yes. Years ago, the Lord told me something. He said, son, notice that peacemaker. That means I'm sending you to places where there's no peace. That's right. And I'll anoint you to make the peace. Yes. 
Amen. And then you're blessed. Amen. 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 Be a peacemaker, not a peace taker. Yes. Amen. Amen. Patience. Patience is a fruit of the Spirit. Yes. Amen. I've got I'm I've got I've got a great vegetable garden going. I mean we if we are I'm already loaded with tomatoes. Cucumbers. Jalapeno peppers. Zucchini squash. Yellow crook neck squash. Straight neck squash. Hmm. Habanero peppers. Okra. Planted some cilantro seed and some sweet basil and Bell peppers, got green bell peppers, got red bell peppers. But guess what? If I go in there every day and pull it out of the ground and say, why aren't you producing? You say, well, that's crazy. Well, that's what no patience is like. That's right. That's right. It takes time to grow fruit. Yes, that's right. God's been working on me for over 61 years. Amen. I don't like that, son. Uh, that what you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather you not do that. You mean God talks like that? Yeah. I'd rather you not do that. It didn't mean it's sin, but I, I'd rather you just I'd rather you spend that time with me. Amen. Yeah. See, I'd rather you spend that time with me. You see, you've got to, if you're going to grow these fruit, which is the fruit of righteousness, you've got to hang out with the one who produces the fruit. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. And then you, you've got to, it's not going to happen overnight. All right, we, now, I, I, later on at some point, we'll get into these fruit in depth. We're not, we're, we're not doing it today. Huh? But I, I mean, I'm talking about in depth out of the original words. Here, but we're just looking at kindness. Amen. Or God's just asking these questions. He's asking them to me too. Were you, if you're in a traffic jam, or do, or are you, are you screaming inside that vehicle? And what are they doing up there? Oh, oh, oh. don't have, do not have a Christian bumper sticker on your vehicle, and somebody. Cut you off on the road and you you give them the bird. <laughs> and we've got people they got the, the little fish on the back. That's okay. But then something happens and, they, and they're unhappy and the, 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 the fish turns into a shark. And then a bird or a bird flying out the window. No fruit. That's right. No fruit. That's right. This is actually tying in with last week. Yes. Re Rebecca ministered on I see the leaves. Mm -hmm. 
But where's the fruit? Yeah. That's right. Disrespecting parents, we've got a generation. Mm. Oh, my, my, my. Giving orders to their parents. Yes. Right. Suing their parents. Yes. Yep. Bringing lawsuits against their parents. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. Right? That it may be well with you, right? That's right? That you'll live long on the earth. Do you know you you could die young just by not doing that? That's right. I'm glad my mom is here today. Come up here, mom. <laughs> I love her. She's my rock. This, 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 is, this is where a lot of fruit got developed yes. in me. Amen. Amen. Because I saw it in her. Yes. I have never, ever... Uh, you're gonna your 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 body, and that's not the real you, but your body's fixing to turn what? Eighty four. Eighty four in September. Eighty four in September the third. <laughs> I live by myself. She yeah. lives by herself. She still drives. Yes. She's been to she's been to India with Cindy and I. Mm -hmm. China. She's been to China with us. Mm -hmm. To Ireland. <laughs> she's she's traveled to Europe. Mm -hmm. She's in excellent health. Works out. Yes. Be glad when the place opens. Yeah, she's be glad when the gym <laughs> opens up again so she can continue her workout program. Yes. She's a tither, she's a giver. Yes, amen. I have never, ever, ever seen my mom waver in her faith with the Lord. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I have seen her live through a many a trial as I was being raised. Mm -hmm. Amen. Had violence in our home. Had a had a had somebody that he was my biological uh, dad, but he had no. She's, she's told me I can say things like this, or I'd never do. She's already told me. She looks younger now than before than before he died. And you say, why did he die? Now, the Lord wants me to bring this out. He died early because he didn't judge himself in the love walk. Amen. No fruit of righteousness. Yes. 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 Come on, just walk with me a little bit. Yes. <laughs> and she just looks better and better and better every day. Amen. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. So I didn't know how to be a father. I still don't. I still don't know how to be a, I don't know how to be a grandfather. Will you, what do you mean? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a, I just don't know. I never got an instruction manual handed down to me. How do you be a father? Because there wasn't one model. We woke, We didn't wake up to alarm clocks. We woke up to my mom was being beaten. That's how we woke up to go to school. So I had no idea how to be a father. 
to Rebecca and, and Justin and Carissa and Joshua. And I still don't know. I don't know. And I don't know how to be a grandfather. What do you mean? I, exactly, I don't know. I, it, so what, what do you do, Master? You hang out with the only know-it-all. Yes. God, mm -hmm. the Father. Mm -hmm. He knows everything. Yes, he, does. he knows everything. Yes, he does. So when a problem arises with kids or even though they're grown or kid, I have no idea what to do. I have to get along with the only know-it-all and I've got to get his advice. Yes. Amen. Amen. I love you, Mom. I love you too. <laughs> Everybody say fruit. 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 Yes. Kindness. If you're in a if you're in the grocery store line and now you've got this six foot things, you know, and all of this kind of stuff, you got a six foot back now. Six, and you go into stores and they got big shields on. Very different. Arrows on the floor on the direction that you're supposed to go. And if you're and if you're going the wrong way, somebody will tell you you're going the wrong way. I mean, I went into a, a you know, we were down in Alvin for a few days with a and uh, with, uh, Cindy brought me into this one of these stores, you know, that was allowed to partially open, you know, and and men. They got these big shields on. <laughs> big old clear shields. Because, it, because a, a drop of spittle, if it ever comes from somebody, it will hit the shield. And, and, and if you're in one of these, these stores now and you get patient, impatient, don't dare be wearing a Jesus t-shirt. Oh, ah, I need more checkers. What you need is to, what you need, my friend, is you need to to just tear your calendar completely up and forget about everything and you need to get up in the morning and get along with God so that He can start producing some fruit in you. Amen. Amen. Everybody say fruit. fruit. You got to have roots to produce fruit. That's right. Yes. That's right. You buy a tomato plant and it'll tell you bury it two-thirds in the ground. Why? Because it doesn't have enough roots to develop great tomatoes. You've got to bury it two-thirds down to where that thing's barely sticking up above the ground. And then you've got to wait. You go out there the next day, well, the Lord, nothing's happening. Fruit of patience. Go out there a week later, still may not see anything happen. Guess what? Something's happening. Yes. You can't see it. Yes, that's right. That's right. That tomato vine underneath the soil will start growing roots. Yes. Yes. Oh. And then all of a sudden. You'll come out there one day and this thing will just take off. We'll load it with blooms and then yeah. and then load it with tomatoes and, and, and delicious. Are you listening? Yes. You'll never go any higher in the Lord than the root system that you got down in the under down in the in the root system of your spirit, man. That's right. That's where this fruit grows. You've got to have the Holy Spirit Amen. 
You need to be full of the Holy Spirit so that he can help you grow these fruit. That's right. Amen. They ought to be in a grocery store when other people are cussing and fuming and everything. They ought to come by you and, mm, oh, <laughs> I think I'll stay in the line with you. Because they got a bite of kindness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Do you know what the Greek word? We, we're not. I'm not spelling out Greek words today. But the Greek word that's translated kind is. Do you know what it means? It means that you that what you do and say to someone else is benign. Instead of malignant. Mm -hmm. In other words, how do I know I'm producing the fruit of kindness? Because you are you you what what you say and do, even though we're not perfect, it's not malignant. Mm -hmm. It's benign. Mm -hmm. Amen. But somebody comes out with. And we're just boiling over with anger. Guess what? That person is malignant. The Bible says, do not make friends with an angry man. That's right. That's right. Lest you learn his ways. Be just like Oh, but they got the good side. I said, the Bible says, do not make friends with an angry man, lest you learn his ways. Period. If you want God to bless you, you just don't do it. Right. What do I do? Pray for him. Yes. Come on. But don't you dare hang out with him. Because it'll get off on you. Or you listen. Amen. Or you listen. Amen. Is anybody getting anything yeah. out of this today at all? Can I just see your hand? If you are, I am. I'm just, all right. Good. All right. So that's what kindness means. Malignant. If your words are malignant, they'll kill somebody. Yeah. Our words have got to be benign. Okay. Here's this next fruit. Goodness. Everybody say goodness. goodness. Everybody say faithfulness. Faithfulness. My mom, that's where I got that fruit. Because... She just never stopped serving the Lord. Mm -hmm. Faithful. The Lord spoken to her years ago to be a part of our, our ministry. It's our ministry. And my mom has driven just her, God, and the angels. Long trips when we were ministering in different cities just to be there. And she played the keyboard. And help lead worship. And then had to drive way back at night. Because she's faithful. Amen. That word faithful, I believe it's the Hebrew word. Uh, um, in, in, in the Hebrew, it, it's, uh, I believe it's eminah. Which means, you know, God, it means God stands in at the office of being faithful, reliable. Amen. That's a fruit. Well, I'll be there. I'll do such and such. Great. Most of the time, you'll never see it. Amen. All right. Say amen. Amen. If you can't, say oh me. All right. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Gentleness. Oh, and the last one. Self-control. Yes. You know, with all, all that's been going on in this nation, our domestic violence is up out of the roof. Because husbands and wives, they have not lived with each other. They're workaholics. 
And all of a sudden, they're, they're in the house with kids. And they realize, I don't really like this person. But they can't go nowhere. <laughs> They're stuck. Yes. There are people that are that are that are in the were in the process of getting a divorce when all of this happened, and now they're stuck in the same house, and they can't get away from them. Oh my. Self-control. Yes. People raising their fists at each other, not just raising them, using it. Out of control. Well, Brother Darrell, have you had people that have done bad and all that? Oh, yeah, I'm not, not going to tell you about all that. I've had... Just for being a man of God, you have a, you're going to have a lot of that. Mm -hmm. yes. Just for being a man of God, mm -hmm. living a godly life. But the fruit of self-control is in. Mm -hmm. Amen. Self-control. Mm -hmm. Out of control, yelling and screaming at one another. All right. God says, awake to righteousness. I see the runway. We're, gonna, we're fixing to come in for a landing. So, Carissa, you can just come on up and just, just start playing some beautiful strings. Just fill this place with anointed strings. Awake to righteousness. And do not sin. How do you know that you're... You've awake to righteousness. You're not sinning. You're not living a life of sin. Amen. Do you know that's a command? Well, I want God to bless me. Well, bless Him. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Bless Him. Do what He likes. Yes. God likes the words holy. So I, I give Him those words. He likes the word the words worthy. Mm -hmm. He likes strings. The Hebrew word is zamar, Z A M A R, which means to touch the strings. Yeah. Whether they're guitar strings or their harp or or their piano or a keyboard, whatever God just loves strings. Yes. So we give him what he loves. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he'll do what we need. That's Isn't that right. awesome? Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. Can you just lift your hands to him right now? Oh, yeah. yeah, just let the thing get a little bit louder, the strings especially. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Ephesians 5.14 says, Therefore he says, Awake you who sleep. Arise from the dead. Who was this written to? The church. God's saying to his church today, yes. Awake. Yes. Awake you who sleep. Arise from the dead. Yes. And Christ will give you light. Romans 13, 11 says, and do this knowing the time that now it is high time to awake. What is an awakening? It causes people to awake. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Philippians 1.11 says, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. We ought to just, we ought to be hanging. Just hanging with fruits. 
Oh, we want God wants us to be fruit producers. He don't want leaves with no fruit. He wants fruit. You'll say, well, I, the people that, I, that are at work at all, they're angry. Guess what? You may be the only Jesus they ever see. Do, do you have fruit? Eternity is forever. Heaven is too real. Hell is too hot. The lake of fire is the final prison from which there's no escape. Do you know the Jesus that I'm talking about? No one's blood, if they're here or listening, is going to be on Daryl McManus's hands today. God has told me what to say. And I've said it. And now we just worship. And you just bring the lights down, babe. Somebody move this pulpit off to the side. Oh, we worship you, Lord. We worship you. There's nobody like you. There's no God like you. Oh, Lord, I'm asking that you change lives today. Every age group, from the smallest, the youngest, to the oldest today, Daryl McManus, right in the middle of it, change us, Lord. Change me. Let me become more like you today than I was yesterday. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. If you're listening by way of Facebook and YouTube or wherever you get this or CD. If you don't know Jesus, just right where you're at, say, oh God, I'm a sinner. I mean, right where you're at, just say that. I realize that I'm lost. I'm on my way to hell. You've dealt with me today. I accept you as my Savior. Do that. Say it right now. I make you the Lord of my life. I believe with my heart that God raised you from the dead. Oh, right now, my friend, you have become a new creation in Christ. And those nine seeds that we were talking about today of righteousness, they're in your you got to get in a good Bible-believing church. And if you don't know of one, you can find us through Facebook, YouTube channel, or whatever. If you, you can't find one around you that in person, oh, I will promise you this, you'll get the Word every time. You're going to get someone that's following the Holy Spirit, not a canned message, not a program, program, that you've got to print out the bulletins and you know how long each word's going to take and how long each song's going to take. Lord, I want to tell you, God wants to be in charge. And you make Him, you made Him in charge of your life. You say, well, what am I going to do during all this and things will get worse? He will provide for you, my friend. You won't go without I've been serving Him most all my life. And He's an awesome Father. You may be, you may be experiencing domestic violence wherever you are. Are you listening? Uh, I just break that now. I come against it in those homes right now. I come against that anger and that rage. And I bind these demon spirits. And I command them, leave now. Set them free. Stop. Stop hitting her. Stop hitting her, sir. Stop it. Get on your knees and cry out to God. 
lady, you stop doing what you've been doing. There's some ladies, you're the one creating the virus. You need to humble yourself before God right now. How in the world are your children going to know what to do unless they are seeing the example? We love you. We'll see you later. We're going to go into live altar ministry. And so I've got to say goodbye to you guys.